With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, we are given with a question and the question says, figure shows a cylindrical container containing oxygen, gamma equals 1.4 and closed by a 50 kilogram frictionless piston here. This is the piston. The area of cross section is 100 centimeters square. Atmospheric pressure is 100 kilopascal plus G and G is 10 meter per second square. The cylinder is slowly heated for some time. Find the amount of heat supplied to the gas if piston moves out through a distance of 20 centimeters. If piston moves out to a distance of 20 centimeters, how much heat has been applied here? We have to find that. So, first of all, mass of, we will write down the given informations. That is, mass of the piston here is given to be as 50 kg, right? Next is area by the constant, that is, gamma is 1.4. Area is given as 100 centimeters square, which can be written as 10 to the power minus 2 meters square. And atmospheric pressure is given as 100 kilo pascal, which is 10 to the power 5 pascals. And G is equal to 10 meter per second square. The distance moved by the piston is 20 centimeter, which is equal to 0.2 meters. These are the data that has been provided in the question itself. So, work done by the gas would be equal to PdV, right? Work done is nothing but PdV. P is pressure and dV is the change in volume here. So, P can be written as P0 plus mg by A, that is the total amount of pressure into A area and D dx here right or simply x we can write so this is equal to 10 to power 5 plus 50 into 10 divided by 10 to power minus 2 into area is 10 to power minus 2 into x is 0.2 so here it would be equal to so it would be 2 3 4 4 and it would be 0.5. So it would be 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 into 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 2. So this turns out to be equal to 300 joules. So that is the amount of work done here. Right? Using gas equation, that is PV, ideal gas equation PV equals to NRT. What we get is PDV plus VDP equals NRDT. PDV is given as 300, right? Since DP, there is no change in pressure, so DP is 0. So this would be 300 equals NRT, NRDT, right? So from here, DT can be written as 300 by NR. Since we know that CP minus CV is equal to R, and CP by CV is nothing but gamma. So the heat dq is equal to ncp dt so from here we can write ncp dt is 300 by nr right so this would be equal to 300 cp by r so it would be equal to 300 so instead of r we could write cp minus cv so R is equal to CP minus CV. R by CP is equal to 1 minus CV by CP. So from here, this would be equal to 1 minus 1 by gamma. So this would be equal to 300 divided by 1 minus 1 by gamma. So this would be equal to 300 divided by 1 minus 1 by 1.4 which is equal to 1050 joules approximately so this is the answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today